Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, I'm here today to show you how to get the Nerve Pack Lite or the Twitch sub server pack set up for your Minecraft. So, what you're going to need to do first is do something for me real quick. You need to go to the root folder where your Minecraft is located. To do that, this is very simple and very easy. Go to start. If you do not have a start menu, you just need to go to the computer section. So you can click a folder right here and go to local disk C. From there, you want to go into users. And then you want to go into your name. And then you want to go into app data. If you do not see app data, you need to go to view options view show hidden files and folders that will allow you to see the app data double click app data then you want to go to roaming right here you'll see a dot minecraft folder and this will hold all your minecraft stuff in it now if you play on your original launcher you'll need to save this somehow what i'm going to do is i'm just going to throw it in a minecraft backup folder if you do not use the original launcher and say you use i don't know FDB launcher or use ATL launcher uh, then and you don't really care about this you can just delete it out right now I'm just gonna throw it in my Minecraft backup alright so now we actually need to start by loading up a fresh Minecraft page so I just clicked on the Minecraft launcher same launcher that you would normally use you would want to put your information in there if I can get mine right and then once that's loaded up you want to make sure that you're ready to play Minecraft 164. Because, of course, we're set for 172 right now. So, edit profile and go to 164. Save game. Play. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to load up everything that you need for just vanilla Minecraft inside of that folder. It's done, it's over with, you're done with that. Next step is to actually get Minecraft Forge. Now, in the comment section below, I have a nifty link to this folder right here which basically shows oh, well, let me, one second let me get all that stuff out of the way uh, this shows the nearby nation sub server on twitch this is all of the mods needed for this so what we need to start by doing is clicking on the first install forge click that and click go to link what this is going to do is take you directly to an adfly link you wait for the time to come up and then you click OK once the time's done, you will see that at the bottom it says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep? Yes. All right. It's very simple and easy to just drag this to your desktop. That way you have a place to know where it's at. You want to double click it. And right here it says mod system installer. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Minecraft Forge to Minecraft. Now all you need to do is click OK. It will download everything needed for Minecraft Forge for the client side to the launcher. Yay. Let's try this one more time. It usually doesn't have any problems, but you know, if it can't download, I'm guessing Forge might be down right now. That's awesome. Let's double click this again. Make sure nothing else is running when it comes down to Java. Doesn't look like there is. Okay. I'm trying to open up too many at one time. Click OK. Obviously, maybe they're down right now for the libraries. Because it should be working just fine. But if the libraries are down, which they shouldn't be, you should be able to get to them just fine. No worries there. All we need to do is wait. <laughs> Come on. This usually never happens. All right, we're gonna go with saying that the libraries are up, okay? So if the libraries are up, basically what's gonna happen is it's going to download the libraries right here, as well as it will download the version right here. So I'm just gonna take the version and the libraries and we're going to put them in here which is exactly I didn't want to paste replace these files okay so that's basically what that's going to do anyways so now once we open up the launcher you'll see that we don't have a minecraft forge page yay 
Let's make sure that this isn't going to work again. Oh, here it goes. There it goes. My bad. Okay, done. All right. Whew. Just make sure it's doing it one more time, just in case. All right, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Now we can go from here. Sorry about that. I guess that was a small glitch in uh, Minecraft Forge. Again, if it doesn't work, just set and wait and try once again. Ah, apparently I'm low on ink. Awesome. Uh, so now it will give you a Forge profile. You just want to log in with your original account. And now you want to go to Edit Profile. And you can see right here it says Game Directory. We want to create a directory. So you can just name this slash NURB Server, something like that save profile now it doesn't know that that's you know empty right now but it will create that directory or it should anyways create the directory for you whenever you launch up minecraft so if we go back to where we were again it's in the roaming data dot minecraft you'll see a nerve server as well as you'll see a config mods and all that this is where we're going to be doing most of our work right here this is going to be where we're going to download the mods and download the configs so we're going to open up this file right here. We'll start by downloading the configs. You just click the configs, click download, wait for Mediafire, and then there you go right there. You can open the configs up, and you can either throw them in like this and replace. It's going to replace all the files, as you can see. Now it's filled up. Or you could extract if you wanted to. It's easier just to open up the extracted folder and throw it in there. Now for the mods, click on mods. And we're going to go down this list one by one, downloading all the mods. So, for instance, IC2, go to link, keep, wait for it to download and complete, throw it over there. Buildcraft, wait for it to download, complete, throw it over there. And as you can see, it's a very simple process. There is some AdFly links that you might have to go through just because, you know, it is their mods. I'm going to allow for AdFly. It is their mods. I'm not going to skip that. There's some media fire links. Oops. Again, See that film? People to call me about this ads, every day. Kind of you know, it's not always the machine. Media it may be the detergent. Pay. You can Finish see power the power fact that it says uh, and in parentheses one. Difference. That's because I've already downloaded it before. Spots, before. Stains, if you've already downloaded it before, God, no worries. So that's not going to affect the mods. That's not going to affect how it runs or anything like that. So there is no worries there. And you just want to keep going down, clicking on the link. And apparently every time I click on a Mediafire link, it likes to open up an exterior ad. That's nice. Uh, BC Tools. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing any sound in the background by these ads. Because I don't have my headphones on, so I cannot hear if you are. And I don't think you are, so that's good. Uh, BC Tools. Again, just throw it in there. Any I add on keep throw it in there or that was plugins now it's add-on keep throw it in there if this is getting too fully for you, you can just press X to clear that out I'm using uh, Chrome to download all these keep throw it in there it's for Thomcraft the ad fly links are pretty direct you just go ahead and wait for the time to come over and then skip ad and they will download. While that one's downloading, we can go ahead and get this one. So that one's done. That one's done. Advanced Machines. Backpacks. Three, two, one. Another one bites the dust. Carboner Block. As you can see, it's not that lengthy of a time it's going to take to do this, but it, it does take a bit of time to download all these. We're trying to get it pushed right now to the at launcher or ATL launcher uh, to make that a little bit easier on you guys because I know it is a burden for downloading all these. But I mean, like I said, you got pretty much the direct link to all of these. As long as it didn't go through an ad fly, this is my mod.
Oh, you gotta love the ads. And they build up pretty fast. Darkcraft. There's quite a bit of them that do have ad flies, though. But again, guys, they don't do this for a living. They do it for pleasure, for fun. So, remember, even paying them a little bit of respect by watching an ad is definitely worth it. Alright, that was Chisel. We got Code Chicken Quarter to download. We've got that one to download. We've got that one to download. And that one to download. So we'll skip that one. Keep that one over there. Click here. Skip that one. Click here. Skip that one. And then skip that one. Oops. Uh, stay on this page. Skip that one. Ender storage. Awesome. All right. Go ahead and clear our links out again. So that was all of those. Now we got forestry. Keep. And then all of the project red stuff needs to be downloaded. Make sure you click the continue links so we can actually go through the advertisement. This one goes directly to a media fire, but it did have an ad fly, so I went ahead and gave the basis of the ad fly. I think all of these had the same thing. Yep. Even though I love how much the ads pop up. For those who do want to wait, that's fine. We will get an optimal way to do this. A little bit better. A little bit easier for you. I can see how much of a burden this could be. And just click drag. And that was all the project red, so now we got hex wool. A lot of these smaller mods don't have any ad flies. Tinker's construct, iron chest, we're almost done, guys. Inventory tweaks. Make sure when you're putting them in here, you do not put them in another zip that could be a bad thing too. They won't load if say you put them in iron chests. Grave mod. Yay, add. Any eye. Alright, we're almost done. Zan's mini map. Any eye. Walela. Or Wyla. Or Walla. Or whatever you want to call it. Backers core. And I think there's one more, two more. Armor status. And status effect. Last one. And then once those are all done, you're pretty much done. Everything, oh, do not put the skip ad in there. You're pretty much done. All you need to do now is run Minecraft. So you can actually create a new profile if you wanted to. So new profile and call this, I don't know, sub server. And you just need to direct it to the NURB server. 
or whichever folder you saved it as. Save, play game, and let it load up. Once it has every single one of those mods, which we do have, it should load up with their configs correctly. Just give it some time. It does take a little bit first time. There we go. No problems there. Let me go ahead and get the IP for the subserver. And I'm going to throw that on there off screen real quick. And you'll see that. Hmm. Oh, did I not? I might have missed applied energistics when I was downloading stuff. It's pretty simple. Let's see. Yeah, I think I might have missed that. M16. Either I missed it or I might have downloaded a newer one. Let's see. Nerve server mods. Yeah, I think I missed it. So if you miss one, it will warn you that you missed it. Now let's try it one more time. We should not have a problem with it this time. So yeah, it's a lengthy installation video, but you gotta think 10 minutes of that is just downloading stuff from various websites. That's very simple to download. Just a little bit of waiting. But for 164, it makes it optimal and really easy to get the mods that you need and get them installed. Multiplayer, now we'll try loading in and should not have any problems loading into the subserver. Voila. And uh, if you've seen before on my single player, well, the subserver, I am building the same S thing, a pyramid. There's a creeper. Leave me alone, creeper. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. We have two other people on the subserver right now. And yeah, let me quest Z to hide that. And that's exactly how you get on the subserver. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I know it was lengthy, but again, all it is is clicking a link, downloading it, and dragging it into the mods folder. That's it. That's all you got to do. As long as you drag, drag the configs in there, it'll set up just like that, and you'll be fine. So we'll see you guys once again in another video. Bye, everyone.